the quick release head. We just made a hole into my table. Wow. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm uh, about to crap on the indoor video tripod and um, I have so many reasons to hate it, but first of all, it's the build quality. You can tell, I, I used the Manfrotto one. It was just too big for me for most of the works that I was, do that I was doing. So I was looking for a smaller, lighter video tripod and uh, the reviews online were quite good on Amazon. I bought it this on Amazon. I took my chance and uh, figured that it would do the job, but it is just not, it's just not that good. It, it is terrible, in fact. And um, here, while I was just checking out, see, this keeps coming off. Whenever, I'm, whenever I am um, panning, after a while, the head just gets loose. The whole ball head system gets loose. And uh, so you have to tighten this super, super hard to not loosen up. So that is one thing. Obviously, it's not doing it now because I'm filming but it, it kept doing it while I was setting this thing up. I really had to do it. Oh, here we go. And um, it's just the, yeah, the build quality itself is just terrible. And um, it is hard to, first of all, I hate how you have to like physically lower those things because it's just, it's just super tight and it's not, and you'll know it's not that easy when you have a camera on top and you need to readjust the legs you'll have to use both hands. You have to lift this thing up and then physically lowering it most of the time. The other problem that I have is stability. Um, the head is cheaply made, but that's understandable uh, because of the price point. The other big issue that I have is you see the legs right now, they cannot extend more than that. Even if I raise it up because of this triangle here, keeping it in place. With my Manfrotto before, I could just unscrew this and then spread the legs more to get more stability, uh, depending on the need that you had, and also get lower angle shots. This is the lowest you can get to the ground, which is pretty terrible. The other thing that you cannot do is change the strength of, or the resistance of the panning. Uh, that is a big problem. You have a little knob here to stop it from moving, but if you're trying to adjust it, to make it a bit more resistant uh, because you have a heavier camera, then you're gonna feel the screw rubbing against the metal part. So it's not, definitely not great. You can, you can change the resistance of the tilt. But yeah, that's the thing. Like, because you cannot spread the legs, I don't even, it, obviously I don't have a camera here, so it's, it's a bit lighter, but that's my biggest issue too. It's so light and cannot spread that that you you will most likely have to put a lot of weight on it in order to to keep it stable. That brings me up to my next point. If you're trying to add a weight on this thing, the only place you can do it is here because putting weight on this plastic part is a terrible idea. It's very weak and uh, you can hear it squeak every now and then. And uh, I would do not recommend putting weight on this thing. The only good thing about the tripod is the quick release head. We just made a hole into my table. Wow. One more reason to hate this thing. So I guess there's no security. Oh my Lord. All right, so if I had a camera on top of this, it would have just smashed to the ground. Let me take my phone and show you what I just did here. Thank you, indoor. So somehow this is supposed to retain. And now it works. But clearly, as you saw, it was not working uh, when I needed it to. All right, so that was my quick trash talk about this indoor. I'm gonna look elsewhere. I'll put a, a link into my next tripod I'm gonna try to buy 
But yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you enjoy this review, horrible review, in fact. But um, I had to do this. I really had to do it. Oh, here we go. That was my point. Now this thing is is loosen up. You can see here. Yep. So it, it will happen eventually. I don't know if it's going to happen during a shoot. And also the leeway, like the amount of correction you can do with this ball head is terrible. So yeah, I knew it was going to happen sometime. But this somehow keeps getting loose. Yeah. I know I've said the word cheap a lot of times, but it is hell cheap. So, all right, that's it guys for this horrible review. Please hit the like button if you enjoy this video and subscribe to my channel for more reviews like that. Let me know in the comments below, what's the best tripod for under $200? I did somehow, after the first day of using it, break the um, this thing right here.